everybody. Welcome to a long overdue battle report. It's been a long time. Probably forgot how to do this. Um, I just had a lot going on. Moved into a new house. Uh, started putting together all my Dread Elves. Testing those. Um, and getting ready for the Memorial Mayhem ETC. Um, if you've watched Chai Hammer's most recent battle report, um, he and I have been playing a lot on UB2, or on UB. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't remember if I influenced his decision to come to Memorial Mayhem, but uh, I'm going to go with yes. So anyways, this is a pickup game I had on Wednesday against Ogre Cons, so let's see... How everything's gonna go. Uh, we got some Tusker. Three Tuskers. Uh, I think they just have Iron Fists? I'm not sure what their loadout is. Uh, a Cannon, some Bruisers, Frost Mammoth, uh, some Bombardiers in front of the other Cannon. Uh, big unit of Tribesmen with his Shamanism General and his BSB. Then he's got some... Uh, Bruisers and another unit of tribesmen. Uh, and then he's got uh, a character here on a Tusker. So I deployed first. Uh, I put everything down. I've got a Goblin Wolf Chariot, Nasher Wrecking Team, Iron Orcs with my generals. Got a two up, four up, Weapon Master, and Blepper's Helm. I've got a Doom uh, Git Launcher. 20 cave goblins with bows and my and a musician and my BSB who has a ring of fire. Another Nasher Wrecking Team, a splatterer. Uh, 20 more cave goblins with bows and musician. Then I've got 29 feral orc ed bashers with the mammoth stabber, um, paired weapons, banner of speed, uh, and my shaman with. Shamanism. He's got four spells, Fencer's Blades, and I think that's it. Uh, then I got another Get Launcher and two more uh, Goblin Wolf Chariots. The Iron Orcs have the Stalker Standard. So, I got first turn. Um, I think I've got like two orange pictures in this battle report after this one. So don't mind it. Um, so I move up. Uh... I was going to move up a little bit, little bit more aggressively with my, my Feral Orcs, but I didn't want to get too close to the National Wrecking Team. Um, so, being very cautious with those Tusker Cab. I don't want them flying up into the back backfield so quickly. Um, so, move on to Magic Phase. I got Break the Spirit. I got 12 Power Dice in the first, first turn. So, I got Break the Spirit. Uh, did a fireball here. Swarm of insects on his cannon that only did one wound. Um, got awaken the beast, and then we went on a shooting phase. Um, get launcher hits. Now I'm going to tell you right now, this is the first time that my shooting has done anything since I've taken it. War machines. I'm talking war machines. Every other time I've taken War Machines, they've either misfired first turn and been disabled for the rest of the game, or they would miss every single time. So anyways, first Gate Launcher goes and blows up one of these Mornfang, or Tusker Cav. Splatter goes and puts a wound on another one. Uh, the other Gate Launcher missed and didn't do shit. His turn one moves this guy over here. Um, and he just kind of shuffles around a little bit. Uh, he's being cautious with his, uh, Morn Fan, his Tusker Cav. Um, obviously because he didn't want to get shot the fuck up. Uh, so, yeah. His magic phase, the only thing he got off was the Totemic Summons. Uh, I think he had like a three dice magic phase and he three diced the summons and I couldn't stop it with my, my two dice. He does a breath weapon, does a wound here. 
This guy shoots, misfires, and cannot fire for two turns. And the other one just missed outright. Uh, on to my turn two. Charging in because fuck those totemic summons. And with a awesome roll, I made it the two inches I needed to get into his, his uh, summons. Other than that, uh, my... Wrecking team over here decided to to fucking go crazy and fly 17 inches. The max range that he can get. Because if he rolls triples, after his first move, he blows up and dies. Um, so I rolled two sixes and a five. Went 17 inches. Ridiculous. Moved the chariot over there just because I wanted to protect him from getting charged. My iron orcs, it may look like he's got a flank on me, but he is 20... 20 inches and some millimeters, so he's out of range. He can't get to me. Um, everybody else just kind of creeps up a little bit. So, magic phase, get the pyroclastic flow off, blow up one of these guys. Uh, that was the only thing I did for magic besides, I think I put Break the Spirit on the, the uh, tribesman again. Either that or I got a really low magic phase and I just went for the fireball. Um, shooting, fucking blow up another one, these guys are getting pegged, my get launchers were on fire, on fucking fire, rolling fives like you wouldn't believe, if I could take three of them, I'd take three of them, because it, it doesn't lose anything when you roll, it, roll a five on the second time, this guy misfires and takes a wound, uh, he shoots and does another wound over here. Um, I do two wounds to the temp totemic summons with impact hits. I rolled like a three or a four or something like that. Um, so I didn't really do much. But my goblins, he went and attacked and did two wounds to me. And my goblins went and put in the last wound to kill him. On his turn two, he charges my... Uh, wolf chariot I flee I made sure that I wasn't I was I was 12 inches or less than 12 inches away from the board edge so that he wouldn't get into me so I fled I wasn't losing anything out of it and just he he rolled like double or triple ones or something like that and went forward an inch or two um, I think in the magic phase or no the I don't know, his magic phase, I don't think he got anything off for his magic phase, but his uh, shooting, he shot this guy off. Um, or did he move, oh, he moved a unit of tribesmen on top, that's what happened. He moved his tribesmen unit onto my Nasher Wrecking Team. I did like, uh, I don't know, eight or nine wounds, eight or nine hits, and then wounded with eight of them. So they just blew up, and then he passed his panic checks all around. Uh, this guy moves over here, and he just kind of shuffles around a little bit more. He magic phase, gets another totemic summons off. Um, and I think his guys just shot the crap out of my feral orcs. Did four wounds to him. This guy does his breath weapon and does four wounds to my get launcher, because they've been fucking him up all the whole game. And it was on my turn three. Charging into the flank. Uh, hoping that the impact hits kills like one, maybe, if I'm lucky, two. Uh, and make it in. Over here, because he failed his march check and couldn't move far enough away from my wrecking team, I went straight for him. Rolled, went at him, three wounds, he's got a wound left. Um, and I'm hoping that one of my get launchers can, or my splatter, can take him out next uh, in the shooting phase. So over here, for rallies, rally this guy on a four. Hell yeah. Um, what else is there? This is all the movement. I kind of just shuffled these guys around in the back to take care of the uh, totemic summons. Uh, I figured 20 shots and a fireball should... Should do it. Um, wolf chariot up here. 
and after everything, all the shooting, or after all the, the magic, I do two wounds to him. Okay, break the spirit. I pretty much put break the spirit on this unit the entire fucking game. Or tried to. <coughs> Got scarification off on my um, shaman, which... The reason I took the, the 5 up, so I got the weapon skill 10 and scarification. So if I get into like a regular block of infantry that has like weapon skill 4 or less, hitting me on 5s, winning me on 5s. I like it. And I'm hitting pretty much everybody on 3s unless they have parry, which pretty much every single ogre army does. So um, This guy shoots, kills off the last uh, cab over here. This guy shoots and plink pops that last wound through, and I did it. So I hit with a six. I do four hits and I wound him like three times. Um, and I think he only had an armor save, and pretty sure it was just sixes he had to roll. Uh, failed all of them except for one, and then just died. Over here, I think after impact hits, I kill. Uh, I kill two of them with impact hits. He swings with his one guy remaining, does nothing. And I go and do nothing. But I've got a lot of wounds on him. I've got a flank, a charge, all that stuff. And he breaks, and I chase him down, running into the wall like such. Uh, on to his turn three. He's starting to move guys up a little bit. Uh, puts his bruisers in front of my iron orcs um, to try and chaff him up. And just kind of shuffles up a little bit more. Because he wants to shoot at my feral orcs to, to drop him down a bit. He puts Break the Spirit on him so they don't charge him. Which is smart. Uh, he does like Chilling Howl or a ogre. One of his ogre crossbow shots or something like that. Yeah, ogre crossbow shots. Takes off one. Uh, and then he takes off another two with his bombardiers. Over here, this guy, random movement, ran into... I forgot to take a picture of it, but he ran into my git launcher and uh, promptly chewed through it. So they died. And he uh, did his um, overrun on his three dice, his random movement. On to turn four. Uh, I am charging into the flank of his bruisers. Hoping for the same exact scenario as the last one. I make it in. And I pretty much don't really move uh, any anymore with the exception of putting the other Goblin Wolf Chariot in front of his, uh, his bombardiers. Now, what I'm... The hindsight's 20-20, so what I'm thinking right now is... What I should have done is I should have moved my ironworks over, like two inches or something like that. Shift them to the left and just move them to the left as much as possible and just keep moving them, keep moving them. Um, so that I could hopefully set up for something else later on in the game. So anyways, this guy's a fucking moron and runs straight into the wall and blows up. He runs off the edge of the table. Um... He turns to face the Tademic Summons. I'm going to shoot him with some uh, with some bows. Uh, over here, I do Pyroclastic Flow and a Fireball Attribute onto them. Kill off a guy. Um, break the Spirit on them again. And this guy, he shoots, hits Frost Mammoth, does two wounds to it. And he's got, uh, I think, like two or three left. Um, over here... Impact hits, and I think after all my combat, or after after combat, I, I think I did um, five wounds. He did two, um, but I have a charge and a flank, uh, so he's down by like maybe three. Uh, let's see, let's charge. Uh, five wounds, flank, to two wounds. He's down by five, and he fails it, and he runs, and I chase him down. Um, this is the reason why I wanted to move him two inches away, two inches to the left, because then what I've got here is my 
feral orcs. He's uh, he's gonna charge into my my uh, my chariot to get out of the way for I think I don't know, but I think he I think he can make a charge if he's going for um uh, whatever. We'll we'll we'll, we'll cover that later. So anyways, goes into his turn four. He's charging. This is a complicated charge setup. So he charges his tribesmen into, or he charges his bombardiers into my chariot. I hold. Then he charges his tribesmen into my chariot, and I flee. Um, and then he redirects into my other chariot because he already charged his frost mammoth into my my feral orcs. As like he already declared that charge. So he wouldn't be able to fit in with my feral orcs. So then he charges my other chariot, and I flee with that one. So now he's just stuck there. Um, and that was my plan. Um, although I kind of wish I moved my iron orcs a little bit more after he had been... Uh, um, whatever it is. After his hero was destroyed by the Git Launcher, I kind of wish that I had moved my Iron Orcs further to the left um, so that I could, you know, potentially get a flank on his, his tribesmen and then get my, my Feral Orcs in the front. So anyways, on his random movement, he rolls he rolls to get into the back of my, my Feral Orcs, um, and he runs into my chariot that was fleeing, so... In my mind, he runs into a fleeing unit with a random movement, and he kills that unit. That's how I played it. So anyways, uh, going to combat, he takes out four wounds, and I kill off you know both of his units, because it's not that big of a deal. Um, initially, hitting on threes, because I'm weapon skill four, but then, because I break the spirit, I'm hitting on uh, fours. So, it didn't affect much. Now, this is where, I, this is this is what I'm looking at here. In my mind, I'm thinking, I'm going to charge the Iron Orcs in, and I'm going to wreck that unit. Forgetting that he has Iron Fists, and he's got Parry. Um, so I, I figured I would go in, hopefully get off like Sag Savage Fury and break the spirit, so he's hitting me on fives, and uh, he's going to be wounding me on fours, but if I get Savage Fury, Break the Spirit. Um, you know, if, I, if I'm lucky, I can get you know you know a couple spells off because my magic has been on fire this this game. Um, I get a spell off pretty much every single turn, or at least two or three spells off every turn. So my thought is Savage Fury, Awaken the Beast for toughness, and uh, Break the Spirit, which means he's hitting and wounding on fives, and I'm hitting him. At the time, I didn't. I, I completely forgot that he had uh, Iron Fists. So I was like, oh, I'm going to hit him on threes, win him on threes, wipe out that unit. So anyways, goes into my turn five. I charge him with the Iron Orcs, like an idiot. I should have charged him the Feral Orcs and then marched my Iron Orcs over to the side and got ready for either that tank thing to, the, the cannon to come charging into me uh, or whatever but I'd be able to hold him up hold up his tribesmen hopefully because I do have a lot of attacks coming from that unit um, at weapon skill 3 but then again he has the Yeti for stuff so he, or whatever that is that minus is the one initiative so I, we go this, he goes first and then I go after him so he'd probably you know kill a couple guys uh, before I got to swing. But anyways. I charged him with the Iron Orcs. And this is when I was like, oh yeah, he's got Iron Fists. So anyways, we're, we'll move on. Magic, I think I got... I don't know, this guy fails. Uh, deface. Let me see. What does he do? He moves over there. Here's magic. Okay, so I got Pyroclastic Flow, Fireball, blew him up. Uh, ended up getting Savage Fury off. And that was it. Uh, 
So then I take all my shooting, which is just the get launcher and the splatter, and I shoot it at this tank here and only do like two wounds. Um, go into combat, I kill like probably three guys. Um, yeah, I did like nine wounds. Um, he did that four plus the champion and he did two wounds on the champion. Um, but he still had, I think he still had like three ranks. Or no, we both had two ranks. Or maybe he had, how many do I have there? Was that, uh, two, four, six, seven wide now? Seven by threes, 21, 22, and three. So, I didn't have ranks on him. I think he had one more rank than me. I think. Um, so he was steadfast. So I, I elected to reform. Uh, to get ranks. So, but I did win combat. Unfortunately, he's stuck. Uh, so we went to his turn five. This is where he charges in here, charges in here. Uh, he fails with that cannon, and he makes it in with the other one. Um, magic, he gets another fucking Totemic Summon off. Uh, I saved my dice because I knew he was... I, I didn't really care about the Totemic, totemic Summon. I wanted to stop Break the Spirit because that's what he, I knew that's what he was going for. He does... Uh, I think he does get Break the Spirit off um, because this round of combat was shitty for me. Uh, but he does the Breath Weapon after his magic, and he kills off four goblins. Um, over here, he does four wounds. I don't do much to him because, again, I can't really hit him. Then he goes on my turn six. Uh, I've got far less guys. Uh, I think this is the only picture I have right now, but magic phase, I got some dice. I threw Awaken the Beast to give him plus one strength. Uh, and I think that was it. He's only got two, three, four tribesmen left in that unit, and he's got his BSB and his general. Uh, yeah. And then it goes on a his turn six. We did some wounds, whatever. I killed one guy, he kills a couple. Uh, then he charges in again with his, tank, his cannon. Uh, and I think that's where he... He killed my general last turn, I think. Because um, I challenged... I rolled, like, four ones and didn't do shit. I whiffed. Uh, he's got the Flaming Standard. He's hitting me up, like, Strength 6. Because he got all these awesome spells off. He got Break the Spirit off on me. He got Awaken the Beast on himself. My magic in the very last couple of uh, rounds really sucked. So anyways, this is why I'm thinking to myself, I should have I should have put my, my Ironworks. I should have reformed him and marched him over to the point where I could have my unit in his flank. Hold him up for that one turn with the Feral Orcs, hopefully win combat. He's stuck there. Um, and then just go into him. So anyways, he breaks me and he doesn't uh, I don't think he chased um, he didn't kill me to a man, which I was hoping he did, uh, because I wanted to be the only one on the objective. So he killed me to a man, or didn't kill me to a man, and he didn't elect to chase. And I was like, if you don't chase, you don't get the scenario. It was a friendly game. I didn't really care. Um, so he then chases me and gets his, his only scoring unit left into the, the the hold ground, the center area. So that, and my cave goblins down here are too far away because they were concentrated on that stupid totemic summon when I should have just, you know, moved uh, into this, moved into the secondary, uh, which is what I thought of after the, after the fact. So anyways, um, this is the end of the game. Uh, with... If I wasn't a dumbass, it would have been a 14-6 or maybe a 15-5. A um, I can't remember the exact score, 
but I know that I won this one because I pretty much took out everything he had on the board, uh, with the exception of those three units, his two cannons and his tragedy block. Um, so, I still had quite a, quite a bit of points on the table. Um, granted, my iron arcs are pretty expensive, and my general is pretty fucking expensive. Uh, it was still a, a, an alright win. Um, if it were an actual tournament game, I wouldn't have told him, like, oh, just overrun, obviously. Um, so, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll have, I've got my team coming over tomorrow. Um, but hopefully I can get some other uh, battle reports made uh, before Memorial Mayhem. I probably won't put them out until that weekend, um, just because I don't want to reveal too much about my uh, my list. So, until the next time. <laughs>